Everybody's doing Christmas tree videos that I will do one too. No kidding. Just a lot of people have asked me what I do for my Christmas tree. So I thought this year I will do a quick little time lapse and show you what I do. First things first, find a spot for your tree. I had to move some shells and stuff. So found the spot. Second thing, make sure it's near a plug because there's nothing worse than running extension cords for your lights. Third thing, lights. Every year, I struggle with my lights, they all come out the box like this and every year I then cycle to uh, undo them continuously. So last year I learned a trick and I didn't put the mic on, oh it is on. Okay. And these are these little Edison bulb lights from Lighthouse and they actually work fantastically in the tree and they don't knot and they don't tangle. So these are the winner. So, Christmas hat on. Let's go. Christmas music. Done. We found the place, we plugged the light in because those went on first, then the tinsel, then we put the larger decorations up so that they filled some of the space and then I filled it with all the other things. Normally I have a theme, last two years my theme has been Christmas. Just sentimental things, just things that have meant a lot to me over the years. So We've filled the tree with that, and then the fillers are baubles. Baubles are great. Get them in all sizes, all colors, with patterns, with no patterns. They really are a great filler and add a lot of happiness to a tree. I tend to stick with one color tinsel. It's normally gold for me. I love the look of a gold tinsel on the green tree. So yeah, then you just do that. Pride of place, my mom's ice skates. She used to ice skate, loved it. Bought these a week before we found out she had cancer. Um, and then obviously with her passing away this year, those are really part of place. And then there really are a couple of things that have been handed down to us from my family members, uh, little goodies that my kids have made, uh, birthday presents from friends, Christmas presents from friends. And those have all found their way onto my tree because this year for me, it is really about family. It is a little bit of our sentimentality and I love that. I'm very happy with that. I love my big tree and I love my father Christmas. People think he's a bit freaky, but I like him. So while I'm not actually doing someone's house or someone's interiors or someone's design, but I still think it needs wine. I mean, I just spent the whole day doing the Christmas tree, which I absolutely love, but that has to be celebrated. And what better way to celebrate? than an MCC 
and I didn't want a normal white MTC, which I love. I love fruit, um, but I thought let's do something festive. Graham Beck's Brut Rosé has got this wonderfully, like a silvery pink color and this really fine effervescence to it, which is absolutely fantastic. And I just thought it was really festive. I really enjoy their Brut Rosé. It is a 52% Chardonnay, 48% Pinot Noir. Both varietals are fermented separately, then blended, and then fermented longer um, in the bottle, and it's kept on the lease for quite a long time. And it's apparently, during that fermentation process and the transport and etc., etc., from the Pin and Noir grape, I think, if I remember correctly, that it gets a sort of beautiful silvery pink color. Well, I think it's great. It goes with Christmas perfectly. And I think it goes with my, my tree quite well. Well, guys, I've had a long day. I've got a bottle of MCC open, a husband that's willing to join me, so Merry Christmas!